All right, so uh, my new trunk just came in. Let's go take a look at it and just unwrap it. Boom. From a uh, successful automotive. Um, pretty sick. Super pumped about this. I'm gonna go slap it on right now. YOLO. But, oh, so nice. Super pumped. First thing first, I'm gonna take out the liner. Just gonna take a screwdriver, pop out all these. I already got like four out. Shout out to the neighbor for the bagel. Let's get it done. I know. All right, for this guy right here, I tried twisting and stuff, but I just got the screwdriver under it. I just popped right on on the other side too. Didn't damage it or anything. It's all still good to go. All right, don't forget the handle here either. I almost ripped that off. This one just pops out super easy as well. There we go. It should all start to come off now. You can kind of see where it's also connected to in the middle back here. Get that off. Didn't see that one. Alright, so liner's out. Now we just have to undo the um, tail light, uh, camera, and the button. And then get those put in the new one. Neighbors probably hate me working out here. Give me dirty looks. Uh, so I also recommend just taking a picture of all the wiring just in case if uh, it doesn't come uh, common sense on um, where to plug and play. Um, but yeah, just, that's what I'm going to do. Just take two pictures just in case if I forget. But it's pretty simple. It's just headlight, uh, both buttons, camera, um, and latch. Um, so for the headlights, just an 8 millimeter. Um, and I got my lovely assistant Daniel on his way over. So maybe he'll help me do this and get through the process a little faster too. Always get through stuff faster with more help. Can't wait to get my new exhaust though. It's back to stock right now. If you guys didn't see the last video, um, or if I upload this one before that, me taking off the exhaust, then you'll know why. Some new 3M or something in here. Keep it all snugged up. Boom, just like that, pretty easy. Just have to do it again on the other side. All right, so I got the ha the camera housing out. Um, so that's out of it so far. Um, just have to get the button out. I have all these screws undone. Um, I just have to mess with it a little and get it uncaught. I'm sure there's a bunch of dirt in there just holding it in. I can already feel it pulling right now if I just put a little more uh, force on it. Um, but I mean, that's to expect with a 11, 12 year old car. There's gonna be dirt and grime that just get parts stuck. Uh, there's gonna be components that break too. Um, like this part right here uh, that goes on this very end here um, where my hand is. It's kinda of hard to see from my side. Um, that just snapped clean off, but you can just hockle it back, mold it back in, whatever you wanna do. It's not too damaged. Um, I just snapped clean off. It's not like it snapped in half or anything. Oh, 
don't want that to go scratch anything. Um, but yeah, gonna mess with it a little more and get this uh, bracket out that's uh, you need to unscrew the button from. Uh, so that'll be a couple more minutes for that. And then uh, Daniel Chan is on his way. Got D Chan coming in the building and some Mormons driving by. Hope he runs them over a couple points extra. What happened to your roof, bro? What? What happened to your roof? Nothing. I thought you were wrapping it. They messed up twice. Awkward. I didn't lose any money this last time. No! See the splitter. Okay, okay. Some Dev Sport from uh, K Series Parts. I can leave the, the, the link in the description. But. That other bracket broke off on the other side, just like that one. I wasn't even touching over here and it just snapped off. Um, a ghost probably came by and just snapped that shit and said, fuck it. Just said, fuck your VQ. Um, but yeah, whatever. Not gonna be using this bracket for a while, if ever again. All right, finally got this bracket out. Um, I guess those pieces I thought I was breaking aren't really breaking, they just sit in there, or at least the two middle ones do. Uh, the end ones might have broke off because I don't see anything for them to sit in. Um, but yeah, just got to take a, take apart this housing some more and get these buttons out and get them all in the new one. And rig this shit up. Alright, so it's on. Um, you can kind of tell on this side the fitment's a little off. There goes D Chan. Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. Oh. My god, look at that CRV. Sexy. Um, but yeah, you can definitely see how uh, there's a little space here. Um, it's not as flush on this side. Um, but this side's really good. Um, I'll just have to mess with this side a little more. Um, maybe just do new holes um, on this side or shave it down a little bit. Um, on this side just to make it go down a little bit further so then it just sits a little flush because it might just be off even or I just need to tighten it down a little more on this side so I'll get figure it out right now in a little bit um, so I tightened it down more um, on this side um, still has a little bit of a space definitely not as um, gaping of a hole uh, they do recommend you have it professionally installed. I'm not a professional at all. So that's what I may have to do is just shave down some parts. Get it in nice and snug and perfect. Um, and I just have to tighten these down more. Maybe even shave it off. It looks like... I wanna, this side has a bump too. But it doesn't look like it affects it. But this bump might just be a little... Have some little imperfection under it. Where I need to shave it off a little bit. Just some tiny uh, millimeters, maybe even a centimeter or whatever. Figure it out. Alright, so it may be hard to see this. Hopefully it autofocuses. Oh my god, not bad. Kicking cameras out here. Alright, so hopefully it autofocuses. I have the button in here. The bra original bracket, it just has another bracket spot. It actually is easier to put this bracket in here than it was to get it out of the OEM one. Um, but it's a nice bracket, went in super nice, uh, and you can kind of see how it's going to look right here. Um, so button, camera, uh, you don't have to get any of these if you don't want a backup camera, you just want a nice flush look, you can get that. I'm driving this car all the time, this is my daily, so uh, definitely went with the camera, definitely went with having the trunk button, just to have the access just in case, but press is fine. Fits in fine. Hopefully it looks good too when I'm done with it. Alright, so I have the all the wiring tucked through. Um, <clears throat> I just put it all through. I put this one through first, the longest one. Just put my hand down here, grabbed it, pulled it through. Pretty, pretty much common sense there. Just have to bracket down the camera, screw down the camera. Uh, screw down the bra whole bracket that holds the button and the cam camera. The button's already screwed in. Um, then just gotta wire these guys up. 
and then um, and yeah then pretty much set to go almost and then just gotta figure out the strut tower over here um, the owner of the company already messaged me back really awesome dude uh, I messaged him about it and literally hit me back in less than five minutes on Facebook uh, so I definitely recommend this company I'll have their link in the description below I'll have their Instagram down here um, successful automotive if you didn't hear me say it at the start of the video really recommend them they have some cool parts just came out with some um, carbon fiber fenders for the sedans um, and for the coupe they just uh, posted up for the coupe today g37 coupe and like q60 i believe it'll fit um the v36 chassis uh i don't know if the, the coupe is considered v36 too that's a different chassis but, yeah gotta stay hydrated boys it's hot out here today uh, fedex out here delivering uh more car parts shout out them um, yeah, I'm gonna get this finished right now. Alright, so on the taillights, don't forget to take all this off because that does uh, leave just that much more. And it'll make it not as flush right here. Um, so I have to go back, unscrew this, make it more flush. So then my camera can reach all the way too because it's just a little bit off. About like a centimeter. But fixing this will fix the length that the cord needs because it'll be all the way in and it'll have a little more give. So just gonna be doing that for the next few minutes. I'm not gonna bore you with that, so I'm just fast forward. Alright. So you can see here I didn't take out um, the seam like 3M seam or whatever it was but in this one I did so this one's nice and flush. But then this one has the bump, so I'm going to take this one out, get all that sealing out of there, and then put it back in and mount it back up. Alright, so in here, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see that, I can't even see from here. Because uh, the sun's just glaring down on me, I'm probably going to get burnt right now. But uh, the light's catching right over here, so it's still not as flush as I want it to be, obviously. Um... I'm gonna have to go in there and shave a little off the nook. I'll probably do that um, tomorrow when I'm off or something. Uh, just get a little cleaner setup. Um, and then I have to figure out the camera because when the lights and everything plug in, it's not all reaching. So I think I just have to cut the tape a little bit so it can spread out a little more. So I'm gonna try that and go that route real quick. All right, have the tail light hooked up button hooked up other tail it hooked up now I just need to get the camera in there and then the um, latch but it's not catching the thread over here so I think I might have to run to Home Depot and get a longer screw than the OEM one and maybe even a bolt and put the bolt on the other side just so it catches and I can actually tighten it um, but, all right it's all on for now I'm just gonna leave it like this I got working a little bit like a finger can fit in at some points and then some points it gets too tiny um, but the owner said I have to take out the uh, strut bar I have to figure out which one he's talking about it might be the black one um, so then it just won't open and stay open on its own maybe I don't know went on a reply for that but he's super fast at replying to me um, just about the problem in general but let's see opens gutted back here a while ago it's still all jimmy rigged um, we'll definitely have to get this all sorted out um, but straight jimmy rigged it with some tape but yep yeah, that's basically it I'll get to do an update once this is all finished and nice and snug and fits perfect all right time to give this thing a start shout out to my girl for this too she was gonna get one that said i heart my girlfriend but she was like you love your car more and i was like babe how did you know and then she smacked me all right well i'm gonna start it real quick 
and then I'll put it in reverse and we'll see what it kind of looks like. Let's see. Doesn't look too bad. It's definitely gonna be a little off. It's gonna I'm gonna have to be careful and remember that and just be careful when I'm backing up. Um, yeah super pumped on it definitely changes the whole look of the car I'll get all this sorted out uh, soon but just super pumped on changing it up gives the whole car a new clean look emblemless looks like I shaved off the emblems or something oh. Yeah, it looks really good. That's a that's a better look at it. So again, it's a Bella trunk, carbon fiber from Successful Automotive. I'll have the link in the description. I'll have their Instagram right here again, uh, in case you guys are skipping around just to see it at the end what it looked like. Uh, let me turn on my lights to make sure those work. Shout out my little Boba guy. This guy's legit. Boba's life. See the lights are all on. I'll have to check if the reverse ones are on later. I don't want to put it in reverse and be sitting down the camera right now. I put the tripod away already. But yep, that's what it is. If you haven't already, give my channel a like, a thumbs up on the video, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's going to be a lot more builds like this coming soon. We got my bumper I need to finish up. I chipped it when I was sanding right here. So I'll have to fix that little blemish. But this is going to be a cool little one to add uh, to that guy. And like always, stay classy. Um, yeah, probably this is going to be the next thing. I already started working on it the other day. Um, using a rotor tool, getting some holes in here because it came like this. So I have to drill everything in, unfortunately, but it doesn't take too long. Um, it took like an hour, maybe 45 minutes out of my day. Did every single hole you need for the grill. Um, just have to get a grill ordered. I want a carbon fiber, um, emulous mesh, just kind of like the other meshes at the bottom of this. So yeah, super pumped. Builds coming along and we may get to the Stance Nation event in SF uh, in March. I have to hurry up and register for that if I want to go, but super pumped on this. I love it.